three people killed. Nineteen people injured. Some of them critically. And not sure if they will live or die. We should all be horrified. The Tower of Babel is no light thing. It's no little story in scripture. It's a reality that kills people. God won't suffer it. God won't allow it. As I looked at the stories of what happened yesterday in Charlottesville, I was blessed by my pastor, Eugene Cho, sending an email to all of the team, all of our pastoral team. And he said in his email, I'm praying with you in response to the disgusting demonstration of hatred and racism that took place in Charlottesville, Virginia. I appreciated him so much for calling it for what it was. He didn't try to make light of it. He didn't try to say somebody had a mental disturbance and therefore was unhinged. He said this was racism and hatred on display. Let's call it what it is. This wasn't the act of just one person. There were hundreds of people at this white nationalist rally. And their slogan was, we're going to make America great again. And they had on red caps that said the same. Hundreds of these people who were at what they called the Unite the Right rally made their way to a large park. And David Duke, a former Ku Klux Klan leader who ran for Senate, In the United States of America, the United States, a Ku Klux Klansman could boldly run for office. And he took the stage and he said to the crowd that European Americans are being ethnically cleansed within our own nation. This stuff belongs to us. And then he called Saturday's events the first step. Toward taking America back again. That is Tower of Babel thinking. That's the way the Tower of Babel sounds in 2017. Do you hear me? God does not bless it. God looks down from heaven and sees that and God says that will not be blessed. I will not condone it. I will scatter that. I will not let that succeed. I am against that. I will not reward that. I don't care what you say and how you try to justify it. That is not God. That's not God. And I want to say to anybody who's in this room who's not a believer in Jesus Christ or you're on the journey of coming to your own faith conclusions, that's absolutely fine. I want to say to you that what you hear people say, when you hear that kind of divisive rhetoric, that's not God. I don't care who says it. I don't care what church they say it in. It's not God. And I don't represent that God. Amen. God asked the people of God to put the image of God on display, and that's not what God looks like. Hallelujah, Jesus. I wish I had a witness. And so God says to wherever the Tower of Babel is, I will scatter you. I will cause you to no longer defame my name and mar my image in the earth. You were supposed to put me on display. Now, now, listen, that is the context at which, in which Abram is asked to come out of this and move. Go back into saying yes, and you stop being with these people who say no. Do you see how brave it would be to have to say yes to God when the Tower of Babel is all around you? I see it. Yesterday, I had a phone call with a woman of color who happens to attend this church And she said to me, Pastor Brenda, those people who went to Charlottesville, Virginia, most of them didn't even live in Charlottesville, Virginia. They came from all over the country to descend on that place. And she said that raises the question, where can I go and be safe when people who don't even live there say that this is my stuff and feel justified to kill people who were there that they don't like? Where do I go to work and feel that this is my place? Where do I go to church and feel like, see, I'm safe here. 